Hey everybody, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. We are back in the OR today and I wanted to bring to you a video in regards to being a surgical assistant, CST, resident, basically anyone that's gonna be up at the field and assisting a surgeon. And this video today is gonna to be all about retractors and retraction fatigue. Here we go. So first off, there are a ton of retractors out there that we could use, but today I'm just gonna show you a couple common retractors that you might see in the OR. So going down the line here from left to right, we've got some Devers, we've got some Rake retractors, we've got some Kellys, Richardsons, Army Navies, and the good old Ortho Homan retractors. So all of these retractors I have here, they're pretty common retractors that you might see in a multitude of different specialties and surgeries, um, but they all have the same purpose, retraction. And it's important to know how to hold a retractor so you don't get fatigued super, super fast as an assistant. Let's go over that. All right, so again, I'm just gonna kinda go down the line for all the retractors that I kind of explained uh, a little bit ago. And I'm just gonna kind of go through how I would hold these retractors if I were retracting in a case. This Deaver has a really nice ergonomic handle. As you can see, it's got these uh, nice grooves for you to place your fingers in. And it's got this hook at the end that lands just perfectly between your thumb and your index finger. You hold that and you can retract nice and easily you most likely won't be using a, a retractor like this for a long period of time. Yeah, this is more of like an abdominal cavity, kind of like, it, this has kind of gone away with the use of table mounted retractors like the Balfour and Thompson retractor, stuff like that. But if you find yourself using it for a short amount of time, this is a nice ergonomic grip. I mean, you could hold it like, like this, just a solid grip on it. Uh, if you need to retract away from you, you can, you know, just have the hook away from you. Still have this nice er ergonomic grip on your fingers. If for some reason you're holding this retractor for a long period of time and you need to kind of switch your retraction, you kind of hold it in place and maybe just stick your finger in the hook and just kind of hold on to it as well. That's, that's kind of another way I would use to, to hold this retractor for any period of time. <coughs> rake retractors, uh, rake retractors are interesting. Um, you know, you've got this nice little T hook here, as well as these nice little uh, ovals, uh, you know, holes that you can also grip on. So think of it like this. You have your rakes in place and you're holding up a flap of skin for them to uh, undermine maybe the tissue. If you get a little tired and fatigued from doing this, you can switch your fingers over and just have your fingers resting inside the loops. That's another way you can hold this retractor. Or you can just go full down. I mean, you can, you can kind of move your hands all over this retractor. Kelly retractors, uh, very similar to the to the Deaver as far as the ergonomic grip. You get the uh, the finger the finger grooves. It just doesn't have a hook at the end. So you're placing it in place. You have a nice hole you can hold on to. Grip it like this. Grip it like this. Whatever feels comfortable. Richardson retractor. There's many different sizes of the Richardson retractor. But every Richardson you're gonna have is gonna have a slightly deeper end and a slightly shorter end. Just depends on the tissue you're retracting. Majority of the time when I'm holding this retractor, I'm just keeping the, a couple fingers in the grooves of the opposite side of the retractor and just holding up, holding up, holding up. If you get tired, you can switch it up, put your hand underneath, just like so, and you can hold up, hold up, hold up. Pretty much the exact same thing with the Army Navy retractor. It's got a slightly longer end, slightly shorter end. 
same thing. I'm holding it up. I'm just holding the opposite side of the uh, retractor there. If I get tired, I'm putting my hand in place and holding it up. And lastly, we have the, the Homan. The Homan is a different type of retractor. This is mainly used for ortho, a lot of totals, stuff like that. But the way you'll see this used is place it inside the, uh, the tissue, the subcutaneous tissue, right up against the bone. And they'll place this, uh, this prong right up against the bone and kind of push the tissue outward. And same thing, probably on the opposite side. And the way you'll be holding this in a case is you'll kind of have your forearm across. You'll have your forearm across it. So you have your forearm holding one and you have your hand holding the other. It's ortho is just a different ball game altogether when it comes to retraction. You are definitely a retracting machine in orthopedic surgery. Now that we've kind of gone over the retractors and how I would kind of handle them and hold a retractor in a, in a certain way, I want to go over fatigue because fatigue is a big deal. Uh, early on, when you're holding a retractor, your muscle, you're so tense when you're holding a retractor. You don't want to move. You don't want to move a muscle. And what happens is, is you're holding a retractor in place for a surgeon and you're so tense, you're, you're like gripping onto this retractor to ensure that it doesn't move a centimeter. And when that happens, you know, all of these muscles in your forearm and bicep, sometimes even tricep, are all contracting at the same time, which will really fatigue you quickly when you're holding that, that piece of equipment, that instrument. Uh, ways to combat that are just loosen up. It's hard to say that, but you know, over time you get used to the surgeries, you get used to uh, you know, dealing with these instruments and with these surgeons, and you'll start to realize, I mean, I still do it sometimes naturally when we're in a case and something's going wrong, or you know, just it's, it's a really tense moment in the case, and I will find myself holding a retractor of some sort or holding a forcep of some sort, and I can, I can feel myself like just gripping that forcep or gripping that retractor as hard as I can. And I, I check myself in my mind when I, when I realize that. And I'm like, loosen up, loosen up. You're gonna kill your arm if you keep doing this for a long period of time. So really try to train your brain to recognize when you are tensing up like that and you're holding an instrument and just loosen up a little bit. You will add minutes onto your arm's life when holding an instrument or holding a retractor when that's the case. Also a good thing to note with fatigue is how you're holding the retractor as in, in relation to your arms. If you are spreading your arms out and holding a retractor and your elbows are like pointing out, you're going to kill your arms, kill your shoulders. It's, you're not going to last as long. Keep those elbows in close to your body and you will be able to last so much longer holding that type of retractor, especially those rake retractors that, that are seen there. Now lastly, I wanted to go over a couple things that you may not realize can be used as retractors. You know, we have these instruments that are specifically called retractors. This, this is, you know, a Richardson retractor, a Rake retractor, a Homan retractor. We got the Deaver retractor. But there's so many, you can basically use anything for a retractor as instrument wise goes. You, you have a forcep in your hand, you're holding on to something and giving counter traction. That is retraction. That is a form of retraction for a surgeon. This forcep can be used not only to grasp tissue, but you flip it around and you have this nice flat end to put in a body cavity and retract tissue for the surgeon. Suction tips. The Yankauer suction, Andrew Pinchon suction, any, any type of suction tip can be used as a retraction device. The suction tip is, it's, it's got many uses in itself as well. It could be a dissector, it can suck, and it can be a retractor. There's many different ways to retract tissue, but 
the main reason I wanted to make this video and talk about fatigue is for those assistants out there and those CSTs out there and those residents out there that are coming into the OR, train your brain to recognize when you're tensing up and keep your elbows in to ensure that you last a lot longer for, for retraction for your surgeon. I hope you guys enjoyed this short little video and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.